Right. Today we have a very common problem in uh, many Singaporean households. I know you guys love to uh, get stuff from uh, Alibaba, Taobao, uh, Lazada and Shopee and whatever. And usually it comes with this plug, okay, which is not a Singapore, uh, a Singapore plug, which is this one right here. So most of us end up using an uh, adapter, something like that. And we stuff it in, put in the plug right there. I have seen uh, many times that the, this particular travel adapter burns, it shorts out and it melts, it causes a lot of issues. And one more thing, the main reason why you want to change a plug is because of safety. So let's say you have this set up with the uh, adapter and your plug right here. If a kid were to come along and you know, pull it out, first and foremost, there are these little pins right here and they don't hold on really well. Now, you have open sockets and you check this out. If a kid were to put something inside, it's live and they would get a pretty nasty shock. However, for the UK plug, once this gets out, you have a door that closes and a kid would not be able to stuff a pencil, a pen, a screwdriver or whatnot inside these. And it's much safer than having this open and they could really hurt themselves. So today, what I'm going to share with you is how to change this plug to this plug. All right, let's get in. So before I begin, this is a UK plug. There are three pins on the UK plug. The one on the left, this is neutral. The one on the right is live. And the long one on top is ground. If you look at this, this one only has two pins. And if you check, look at, look at it carefully, it can be put in this way and it can be put in this way. And because uh, in general, Singapore uses uh, 220 volt AC, it's an alternating current, putting it this way or this way does not matter and that would be important and I'll tell you why in just a bit. So we, for this project, we need a screwdriver, a test pen, need some snips. Uh, you can use a Phillips, I'm going to be using my cordless screwdriver and of course we do need a wire stripper but you can get away with using uh, the snips as well. So uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. Now, you grab your plug and you say bye bye to the plug head. You just snip it off. And then, if you're using snips, what you're going to do is just score around the edge of the rubber, the insulation, and pull it out gently. Okay, once you get it going, just bend it, twist it, it should come off. There we go. But personally, get yourself one of these. This is so much better. Okay, check it out. You just put it in, pull. There you go. That's out. So, I salvaged this from an old appliance, it's, uh, it's still good, you can buy this at uh, any hardware store, just ask for a 3 pin plug, they come at a couple of bucks a piece, and there are 3 screws at the back. What you want is to take out this one, this holds the two halves together, and this actually holds the wire in place, so just give them a loosen up, and you pull that out, right? So as I mentioned, left and right does not matter, but since this comes with uh, a blue and a brown wire, you can just match up the brown, which is supposed to be live, and blue, which is neutral, to the terminals in the 3-pin plug.
you tighten it up with your test pen or screwdriver. And neutral goes in here. Tighten that up. Okay. You give it a tug to make sure none of the wires come out and you know it's secure. Put the banding on again and you tighten it from the back. I'm lazy so I'm just going to use this one. Give it a tuck. Now, you want to have a look and make sure there are no loose hairs. If there are some loose copper wires, it may cause a short. The second thing is if you notice, this plug does not come with a ground. Now, some appliances come with a ground, some appliances don't. In this case, the manufacturer did not specify the need for a ground, so we don't need to put a wire there. But what this piece is for is really important, as this is the one that opens up the sockets, allowing the bottom two pins to go in. So let's put that all back together and we'll give it a test. There you go. So that, there we go. That's the uh, easy way to change between a two pin and a three pin plug. And it makes everything much safer. So you put that in, Kit comes and pulls it out. He doesn't have any, any way to stuff anything into the, the live terminals. Okay, and the second thing is, uh, it makes it much more convenient. But please take note, if you're buying something from USA or Japan, they come at 110 volts. Uh, Singapore and the majority of the other countries use 220 volts uh, AC. And uh, last thing is, if you're going to do this, you're probably going to ruin the warranty on your devices. But since you're getting it off Taobao anyway, you know, that doesn't matter. And that, that you, I, I don't think you can claim warranty for anything brought from Dabo or Aliexpress. Right, so uh, this is much safer and more convenient and uh, do give it a go. It's really simple and it will save you uh, a lot of uh, headache in the future. Thank you for watching. Do leave a comment, uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.